All right, today I want to talk about, about the soul. Our soul. Our soul. Amen. The spiritual soul means, the definition of soul means the spiritual or immortal part of a human being. Spiritual or immaterial, sorry, immaterial part of human being. Or, or it is a real Recorded as Im, 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 immortal, emotional, or intellectual energy or intensity, especially as river in a work of art or an artistic performance. It is the principle of life, it is a principle of feeling, it is a principle of also thought, and it is a principle of also action. This is what you call a soul. More especially, it is a spiritual or a material part of a human being, or it is emotional or intellectual energy, emotional or intellectual energy, or intensity, especially as revealed in a work of art or an antecedent performance. This is what we call it, it is a soul. A soul is, it is the principle of life, Soul is, it is a principle of feeling. Soul is a principle of thought and soul is a principle of action. This is a very important subject today I want to talk with you. It is the principle of life. It is a principle of feeling. It is a principle of thought and it is a principle of action. The owner of the soul is the Lord, not anyone else. Amen. You cannot compare anyone in this reality. There's no one even competent. Even there's no one in a competent as like a Bible. Bible is one of the greatest book but it is not compatible or comparable because it's the only book in the world. Amen. There is no one book even you try to compare. If you try to compare, you are sinning against the Lord. In the same way, in the same way, soul is the only given, is the only given grace or is the only given imitant of the feeling the action and the thought and life. There's a life in a soul. There's a thought in a soul. There's a feeling in a soul. And there is action in a soul. Amen. Amen. That's why you are here today, because of the action. Amen. If you don't have action, you are not going to be here today. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to show you something today. What is going on in the world at the moment? At the moment, the Lord is great. Amen. Amen. God is giving us a, a, a great grace. There's a COVID-19 is defeated in so many ways, in so many uh, areas at the moment, especially this from the Kurgis Clark's drop, God is doing amazing things. People are coming out from the hospital immediately. Amen. True. But now we are managing the, uh, the uh, media platform 
from every Wednesday after three and every Friday after three, we want to manage live service for COVID-19 only. Amen. And whoever wanted that flat platform, whoever government officials or simple people, whoever wanted that, whoever want to heal from this, because in, in, in April, I received this revelation from the Lord. Amen. There's a sign as you see, people are testifying. Amen. Not we are not talking. At the moment, if you check all 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 over the world, if you check these televisions, the only Emmanuel TV and Maranatha uh, TV are these are the only two bringing the testimony of COVID-19. Amen. And what I want to tell you is that is what the soul it means I'm about to speak about. Because when God gives you a soul, He gives you for action, He gives you for life, He gives you for thought. Amen. He gives you. It is given. It is a given thing. Soul is a given. The honor of the soul is the Lord. You can play, that's up to you. You can live a life, that's up to you. You can live it, that's up to you. That's up to you. Nobody else. At the moment, look at it. The people chosen the world instead of choosing God. The people are. The nations are chosen the world instead of, instead of choosing God. For me, it is my, cho it is my free uh, speech, this one, as a free country and as my freedom. Coronavirus is not a virus. Coronavirus is a spirit. That's right. Amen. That is my understanding. Because if a, virus, a corona is a virus, it must be controlled by scientists and doctors. Amen. It must be. If it is not controlled by scientists and if it is not controlled by doctors, and if he eating also doctors and scientists, Jesus. it is a spirit. Amen. It's a triple six spirit. Mm. I can assure whoever want to know, I am available to assure that one. Therefore, I, I, I have a scripture. I have a scripture. I have a scripture. What is this? And your soul is very important to allow anything or not to allow anything. Amen. Your soul is very important for life. Amen. You can live a life because life is given from the Lord. Amen. Somebody say, I can't live the life. I can't live the life. Whose life? God's life. Amen. Whose life? Jesus' life. Amen. That's why Jesus, he came to the cross and he died for the sin. For whose sin? For my sin. And he, when he died, they killed him. Who? The first Sadducas. Who are they? They are the demon possessed people. Oh, yes. Amen. But he rise up. Amen. Jesus. I, don't tell me they are a virus. Don't tell me they are sickness. They are human beings. But what they did, they are possessed. Mm. Who only now? The spiritual men, the soul. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus, amen. Only spiritual men can see spiritual things. Amen. Therefore, nobody understand what is going on. Nobody understand. When they took him, Jesus, to the king, he says, no, 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 no. He says, bring me the water. When he wash his hand, I say, he says, I am free from this man's blood. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Because this man, he sent something. That's right. I have a life. I have a feeling. I have action. I have a thought. Amen. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. Therefore, I want to take you to the book of Mark chapter 8, verse 34. Mark chapter 8, verse from verse 34. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said,
If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. This is the instruction of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. This is a life and this is a day's instruction. Mm. Listen very carefully tonight. Tonight, you are blessed to be here to know something. Amen. Jesus says, he called each and every one, including his disciples. Amen. They are not special people. Maybe they feel special at that moment because they are next to Jesus Christ. But Jesus called each and every one. Amen. He called them. Amen. The Bible says he called the crowded. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, I have something. Come. Amen. Jesus. He wants to tell them the life and the death instruction. Take death or take life. Amen. Today also the world must take life or the world must take death. That's up to you. Amen. Jesus. This is right, right there, right here at the moment. Don't expect anything is, anything is going to come good from 2020. I'm telling you. But the Christians, those who have a blood of Jesus, Jesus. they will live a amazing Amen. life even Amen. in the situation what it looks like. Amen. The only people who is going to live is who is a faithfully connected with God only. Amen. This is what he says. Jesus called and says, hey, then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples, along with his disciples. Mm. Today, ministers, very carefully listen. That's up to you. Follow the Christ or living and going, hiding yourself and staying in your house. We will see you. You maybe you can hide yourself from the corona, but you cannot hide from the Lord Jesus. Right. Amen. Who are you? Imagine that. Imagine that. And in, in the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-five, there's a ten version. There's a ten version. I think you know about the virgin. The virgin means a woman who doesn't give a virginity for anyone else. Amen. Hello? Amen. Am I wrong? It looks like. It's true. It's true, daily. <laughs> it means in the, okay, let me say it in this way. The woman who doesn't know any man in any action, not even, no. no. There are 10 in the same house. They attend in the same organization. They attend in the same church. They are worshiping the Lord until one day. They don't know anything. They are free. No condemnation. They are doing the tithe. They are doing offering. They are doing everything. One day, when they say the king is arrived, then they rise up. They were sleeping. They ask five virgins, those who does have an oil. They say, please borrow us. They say, no. It's still we was together. Today, it is not possible to do that. Today, no. Who are they? The wise one. What does what makes them wise? They have oil only. Amen. What does it mean this? In the other world, they have a life, but they are living with action. Amen. 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 Life. Thought, feeling, action. This is what the definition of the soul. Therefore, these five of them, they are living life. Also, the, those foolish five of them, they are living life also. No question, no comment here. Mm -hmm. Amen. No question, no comment. Somebody say, no question, no comment. No question, no comment. But here, yeah, they have a feeling. Yes, they are. The feeling of five of them is sleeping. Five of them is waiting the Lord. What does it mean? They are in action. Amen. They are faithful. They are not empty Christians. When the man's end has arrived, they don't see their pocket and their things. They first put God first. Amen. On the time of time, they don't complicate it. They know God who give them 
On the time of sickness, they don't complicate it. They say, my God is my healer. Amen. They are always there. They are not selfish. They are not stomach. They are not stupid or wicked. But when you come to 25, Matthew 25, this five flush and five even the wise, both of them, they was doing the same things excellently. Without any question. Please take note. Listen very carefully. There is nothing. They are paying time. They are worshipping. They are praising the Lord. They believe in that Lord or the one who is coming. They don't have any question. But the question rise up. On that time. They came and worship and do everything. When the king about to arrive. They sleep. And they don't have oil. Immediately, when the voice was heard, the king is arrived. All of them, they rise up. And these ones also, they rise up and say, hey guys, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. They says, those ones, they says, amen. They don't have a problem. That way they says, after amen, they want to ask us, they was living together before. Now those wise then, <laughs> Until today, we was doing the same things what your people have been. Now the time is different. We don't borrow you anything. We don't give you anything. The better thing is, if you quickly go to the shop, have oil, and come back, then we are going to celebrate together. And quickly, they have a money. They have everything. When they went out to buy oil, the king came and he closed the door. With five of them. After sometimes they came and they knocked the door. Not the wise five of them they speak. Only the king says, Hello, who are you guys? It is us. Just we went out to buy oil. We are together. Lord, we was paying your time. We was paying offering. We was doing this. We are born again Christians. He says, I don't have a doubt with you guys. I accept and understand everything. But one thing you must know. You don't know the time and the hour. If these people are not saved because of not knowing the time and hour. You and I. Today. That's what we have to understand. And that's why he called the crowded. Today, we all called with the disciples. We all called. The, this crowd is the wallet. And Jesus called us, including with the disciples. Those who are anointed, those who are called, those who are huh, give full time for Christ's kingdom. Those who are completely decided to give their life, their family life, their marriage and whatever like me. And we all called, not only disciples, not only ministers. Amen. Christ called us after he died and he showed up himself who he is. He says, hey, guys, he says, if anyone would come after me, if anyone would come after me, it is, a, it, it's not obligation. It is, it is, it is not obligation. It is not must. It's not anything else. It is all about your choice. God give us a soul to choose what you want. Amen. To choose Amen. what feeling you want to have. To choose what thought you want to speak. It choose to what kind of action you want to take off. Mm. Jesus. This is the time. This is the time, brothers and sisters. Because the world it is complicated. The world is crowded. The world is living with the fear. There is no happiness all over the world at the moment. There is no joy. Why? The world doesn't have any meaning. The world doesn't have any solution. The world doesn't have any medicine. But we do have. Hallelujah. Amen. The world can go to get a vaccine one year and a half year. But I have a vaccine That's immediately. Right. Amen. Yes, Lord. It's Jesus. 
When the nation respect the Lord, there is a medicine. Amen. When the person respect the Lord, there is a medicine. There Amen. is a healing. Amen. There is an action. There is Amen. a life. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the difference. There's a difference between me and the professor. There's a difference between me and the scientist. There's a big difference between the doctor and me. Amen. But That's all right. of us, we are very necessary. Amen. But when? When we know God. Hallelujah. Amen. Without the presence of the God, hospitals, they cannot do nothing, brother. That's right. That's right. If anyone, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself. Deny. What does, this is what I want to speak about. What does it mean, deny means? Deny means, what does it mean, deny means? Why Jesus asking his disciples and the crowded to deny themselves? When he come to the point, this is not a good teacher. When somebody is saying, deny yourself. <laughs> Do you know in a Bible, the Jesus teaching is complicated to you. Amen. He complicated. And every time when he speaks, people they don't understand. Every time when he predicts, they are not comfortable. He always speaks in parable. Amen. Do you know what? The secret is only given for those who are having a soul of Christ. Amen. Jesus. That's why we are predicting the deepest thing of huh? the world in heaven. Amen. We prophesy. We speak out. We bring it out. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. The Lord was telling me about the Northwest yesterday night. We have to pray for the Northwest. Now, coronavirus is going to come like a fire in the Northwest. Not before, now. This is what God was telling me yesterday night. Especially for the government officials, this time around, it's going to be very difficult. Northwest. We were so surprised in getting, we were so surprised about uh, what you call it, Western Cape and KwaZulu Natal. But as I see, but we are, we are, we are praying with the fighters group. We are praying. God is going to hear because God cannot tell me something He cannot sort it out. Amen. We are here. Yes, we Lord. pray. Hallelujah. I know God is going to hear me. Otherwise, the things are going to go in very difficult. Because God is angry. You know, soul is given by God. But until now, the people, they don't want to respect God. And instead of respecting God, people are respecting ancestors. People are respecting uh, magicians. People are respecting this uh, witchcraft and uh, the songomas and this ancestral stuff. Because the land belongs to the Lord. Amen. The soul belongs to the Lord also. Amen. He is the only owner. He is the one who's creating the soul. He created the soul for life. He created the soul for feeling. He Amen. created the for thought and action. Hallelujah. Amen. You are in this. There's no one out of this four of right. this. You are in life. You are in feeling. You are in thought. You are in action. God give you these three, four things. But you can even live in a life that doesn't mean because of you are living a life doesn't mean you are with God. With the presence of the Lord. You have a feeling what, what you want to do. You can choose anything else. You can sin against the Lord because of you have a feeling. Or you can live with the righteousness. You can respect the God's will. Or you can disrespect the God's will. That more importantly, Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 up to 13, he can tell us each and everything what is the result of the obedience and disobedience? That's it. 
That's it. Today is amazing the way how Jesus said, following, following Christ to have life. Or not following Jesus to have death. This is finished. Amen. This is what Mark is speaking about. Amen. Jesus said, what he says, hey, follow me. And again in Mark, he says, in Matthew say, follow me. In Mark, he says, if anyone deny himself. What does it mean? Denying means? Denying, is it forgetting? No. Not putting yourself more than God, more than Jesus. Listening Amen. first, Jesus. Following first, Jesus. Giving the first place for Jesus. Amen. That's it. That's it. The things what you trust, the medical aid cannot save you one day. So many people, they trust the medical aid, then God. They pay every month for the medical aid, then they tie. You will meet one of the good days. When you meet the difficulty, that is the time, you action. You action. He's going to show you who you are. You action. When you are facing challenges, when you are facing this between death and life, when you go to the hospital, Father, heal me, heal me. When you book, your life book come out, who you are, what you have done, what you look like. That is the things what he's going to speak about. The medical aid doesn't give you a soul. No. Doesn't give you the soul. Yes. The medical aid doesn't die for you. Amen. That is one of the organization who, which manipulating you, money or your things. Because when you live in, in the world, you can deny yourself or you don't deny yourself. Denying means choosing the best what you want. Which one you want? Choosing the world or choosing the Christ? Amen. And the, our fathers, those four fathers, they choose Christ. And they don't have a medical aid. They died for Christ also. Amen. Christians, we say we are born again, but we are living the same life of the, those who are not born again. No difference. No nothing. I, I speak two years ago or three years ago. We go to the Edgars, we pay our money. We give them to make a business, but we are still poor. Those people are rich. We go to the Woolworths, we still deposited the money. Those people are rich, we are still poor. One day when we have become a short, immediately we receive the letter. Our account is possessed. We are put in a credit control office also. Not to receive anything else. In our action, in our action, by giving ourselves, uh, by giving our soul for somebody to manipulate or to do whatever he wants to do. But we don't want to give our money for Christ. We don't want to give our thought for Christ. We don't want to give our action for Christ. We give for the wallet. We chose the wallet better than God, better than the one who's given us everything. Our soul. Verse 36, no, 35. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. So, this is very dangerous, very critical. What does it mean, lose it? Christ is not speaking about anything about the life. He's speaking about what you have. When you are in this world, when you chose Christ, you will lose it, everything. Amen. This is what you want to talk. Amen. Now we lost it, all the joy. We lost it, all the, so many people, I think six million or three million, I, I, I'm not sure, three million South Africans, they lost their job at the moment, until now. Why they lost job? Because of coronavirus. Therefore, this is what he want to, for whoever wants to save his life will lose it means you will lose a lot of things by choosing Christ because there's anti 
power in this world who will fight you. But I will show you also how you are going to recover. But whoever loses his life for me, his life for me, and for the gospel will save it. Okay, this is very critical. Now Jesus is saying, if you lose your life in this world, you will save it. Eternal life. Amen. Who yes. is going to learn? Oh, you say amen. Really? This speech says, if you die this, you will come to me. Because he says, I die and rise. <laughs> now the voice is gone now. We want to live in this temporary planet. We want to live until, until the diapers to put it. Hmm? No, this is selfishness. This is loving ourselves. We have to live for the sake of, for the sake of Christ. If we die on 40 or 20, 30, doesn't matter. When you start saying, no, I am living for Christ. Hallelujah. If I live 30 or 100, doesn't matter. That is the time. Who deny himself means? Because you know where to go. You are not going to complicate it. You are not going to question. If I die, am I going to heaven or hell? No question. No question. I know myself. Therefore, what makes you not to be complicated? You know, you deny yourself. You are living with the righteousness and you love Christ. You are worshiping Christ. You are doing all, everything what the Bible commands you. Hallelujah. Amen. By now and again, not now only, you can make a mistake or you can sin against, but the Lord is, is a gracious Father forever. Hallelujah. Amen. He is a, the Bible says, the Lord is a merciful Father forever. Amen. He's not going to count you eh? single sin what you don't know even. He knew your heart. Amen. Because inside of, can, can I say this? In, inside of each and every one of us, this is the DNA. Amen. What is that DNA? Our soul. Mm -hmm. Our soul is a DNA. That's why the devil wants our DNA immediately. That's why Bill Gates and those, those, those witchcraft, those evil, they want the verse, they want to Put inside of us. Where? In our DNA. They want to control. They want to tell us, your DNA belongs to me. No, devil, he cannot get my DNA ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No, 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 no. Mine, I'm talking about mine. I will die. I don't give my DNA. But first of all, Corona, he cannot try me. If he try me, I know what I'm going to do. He can try me for victory. He can try me for testimony. He can try me for glory. Hallelujah. Amen. But that is what Jesus says. If you deny me, whatever it comes, Jesus is in charge. Amen. Whatever travel has arrived, you have to say, no, it's not me. Jesus is in charge. Amen. When you lost your job, no, for my food, all the security, Jesus is in charge. Hallelujah. Amen. This is what, what, what Jesus says. If anybody deny himself means giving yourself completely, dedicating yourself for Almighty God only. Amen. You are sick in the morning, afternoon you are healed. <laughs> Hello. Amen. When the presence of the Lord comes. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You was terrified in the morning. Mm. But afternoon, you are different. Today. Amen. Why? When the visitation comes. Amen. Today, when I was talking with somebody who is COVID-19 positive, when I prayed and the doctors came on the third day, they says, what are you doing here? Go, go to your home. After 40 days, go and work. But that man, he told me, three of his friends, they died on that, the same hospital. 
But Jesus is a mother. Amen. Jesus. Can I hear amen? It's a loud amen. amen. That's what he wants to speak about. The owner of the soul is Christ, not anyone else. Amen. Do not allow your soul for anyone else. Do not allow your DNA for anyone else. Amen. If you don't do, there's the owner of the DNA. Amen. That's it. Once when your DNA is controlled by somebody, you don't have a life. You don't have anything else. You don't have your own action, thought, feeling, life, nothing. But when you give these th four things for Christ, you are free. Amen. There's somebody shepherd is there. Amen. There's a security there. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a social security next to you. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you tangible. If you say, show me, come, I'll show you in action. Not only speaking, not only preaching. Bring the, the person who have COVID-19 posted, bring here. Not even here. Phone me. Let's see what is going to be happen. Amen. It's all about God. This is what God is speaking about. Amen. Deny himself. Means deny. This is what I told you. Verse 37. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world yet forfeit his soul? Once when you lost your soul, what profit? What good things you are going to gain from the world? You can live 60, yeah? You, whatever age you can live. But at the end of the minute, you're going to hell. That's what she's talking about. What good things? A man who is going to forfeit, okay? Yet, forfeit his soul. Oh, what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Hello? Amen. What exchange do you have for your soul? Today, the people, they say, satanic church. They say, triple six. They say, they have a lot of religion. Eh? They have a lot of things they are saying. But <laughs> that is the greatest foolishness. The greatest foolishness. The greatest. What can a man give exchange for his soul? But somebody he already exchanged his life for the world, for the entire world. As you see, they say, say he called the crowded with who? With including with the disciples. Amen. For what? For soul sake. If anyone is ashamed of me, this praise is, if anyone is ashamed of me, means, listen very carefully. If anyone is ashamed of me, means, in the other world, there's a lot of meaning. A person who receives Christ as his personal sovereign Lord, who does not live according to the will or the word of God, is a person who is ashamed of God. Not denying Christ. Not denying Christ. Be careful. Somehow, sometimes, this our wallet, this wallet is going to, you know, looks like. He's going to bring looks like things. He's going to put us, our situation, what it looks like. And turn you out. You don't know. You are still, you thinking you are still on the road, on the right track. But Jesus says, if anyone is ashamed of me, my words in his Adulators and the sinful generation. He said, denying means not doing as he said. Once when you become a Christian, or you're born again, you have to live as he said. Amen. No turning point, no right, no left, no reasoning out. Hmm. You cannot tell me you want to reason out. No. Jesus, he gives his life on the cross for my sinful nature. Then he asked me, follow me. 
He asked me, deny yourself. Amen. Therefore, you have to deny your life. Amen. If you want to save yourself, deny your life. Amen. Deny yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Deny your doing. Hallelujah. Amen. This what this is the what the things what he's talking about, Jesus. He didn't afraid to say. He did. Can you see that what he's saying to us? He says, My words in these adulteries. What does it? Adulteries do not take only sexual immorality. Adulteries means lying is adulatory. You know, deception is adulatory. Not doing is adulatory. There's a lot of meaning of adulatory. Adulatory is not only having a fail or doing those. No, no, not only. Not. If you are a born again, Christ is manifesting inside of you. You are still denying. It means you are still gossiping. You are still lying. You are still pretending. You still also not doing in order to. You have to do. Why so many people, they live the same life from year to year. They think they are right. But something is inside of them. They think they are better. Their life is under the calculation. The Bible doesn't tell us we have to calculate our life. The Bible says, a righteous live by faith. Amen. Not by calculation. Once when you start calculating the things, you are out of way because there's no faith. I know this is critical for so many of you. I understand. I understand. Can you imagine that? I am living even a great life. Like you, I don't have a job. <laughs> like you, I don't have a basic salary. When you love, you give your time. When you don't love, you don't give. Only certain faithful people are the ones who are still paying the time and offering. We are over the moon. But we are, can you see that what it looks like? Eva too. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I will live also long. Until the end of my life, I am not going to depend on by any person. I will depend on, on the Lord who give me the soul for Amen. my life. Amen. Imagine that. That is what he said. If you don't deny. And he says, if anyone is ashamed of, what does it mean? God send you one minister. God send you one prophet for your life, for your sake of your family, for sake of your future, That's for right. sake That's of everything. Right. But Amen. you are not living according to the way how you have to live. There's a full-time missionaries in this house. But so many people, who is the one who is in charge for that? Who is praying for those people? Who is uh, thinking about them? Who is giving them the food and what is necessary? That's what the Bible says. If anybody is ashamed of me, I would be ashamed of him. It's not easy. Christianity is not easy. It's not. We are so hurry and very, very energetic when we want to receive it from where? From his hand. After we receive it, we become owners. We become the owners. Which is not. Which is not. Living right life. Disciples, they was giving him a tough time for Christ. He was correcting them. He tried to tell them, but they are not living as he told them. They was thinking Jesus was a son of the Joseph. That's why they don't want to live. When they see him, he have got five fingers. He says, no, I'm Apostle John. Huh? He also maybe prophet Jesus. Finish. He eating what they eat. It. Uh -uh. This guy says, my father is in heaven. I'm a God. And how God is going to look like the same uh, skin, the same food what he's eating, the same things what he's doing. But he never, the Bible says, he never commits sin. They knew he never committed the sin. That is the difference. Amen. Otherwise, he have got the same leg. He's dressing like them. He's walking with them. 
He is sleeping with them. He is also doing everything with them. Therefore, these disciples, they didn't put, they didn't put any account for Jesus. When they go to Samaria, they go to the township. They want to buy food for themselves. Jesus is allowed. They didn't think about it. He is hungry. He walked uh, walk long distance from Jerusalem to the Samaria. But they didn't care about him. They are the one who's given protocol for Jesus Christ next to him. But they left him. But Jesus, he knew that is the school time for them. It's the training time. They are fresh students, he knew. But he called all the crowded, including the disciples. Only disciples followed him. The crowded left him. Crowded always will leave you. Crowded cannot stay with you on the time of problem. Crowded cannot stay with you on the time of like this, brother. Amen. Crowded always leave you. Only disciples. Hallelujah. Amen. Even though they are fresh, even though they made a mistake, even though they have a correction life. Disciple always. Which disciple? The true disciples. Amen. Actually, 120 disciples was following Jesus. Only 12 left. Our soul is a mother. Our soul. Our soul have got life. Our soul have got thought. Our soul have got feeling. Our soul have got action. That is it. It's a given for us. You can feel it. You can thought. You can have a life. You can action. That's it. It's a given for you. Your action is very important. How long you want? Do you want? You don't know when you are going to go to the Father Papa or you are going to go to the devil. You don't know which day. You action matter. Your life matter. Your feeling matter. Your thought matter. How, what kind of life you are living today? And tonight I want to warn you. I want to give you this message. Each and every buddy, you have to check your life. Amen. The time is arrived. Jesus Amen. is about to come. I am a sound of the desert. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. I know so many of you, you don't understand what I'm talking about tonight. Maybe you're thinking this is, is the same preaching of what he preaching before. No, it's not. We are very closer. We are very close up. The time is about to up. People of God, as the Bible says, no joy is going to be on earth. No happiness is going to be all on earth. No life is going to be on earth without Christ. Because very critical time is approaching. People become selfish, become lovers of themselves. People are going to make themselves the preacher, which the preacher must preach what the people they want is only become a religious. They don't want rebooking. They don't want godly things. That's why Jesus says, whoever is ashamed of me, my words in his idolatry and the sinful generation, the son of man will be ashamed of him. When? On the time of trouble. When? On the time of judgment. When? On the time of critical time this. Jesus. Therefore today is the better time. It's a better minute to come back to him and saying, Father, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I was living out of life of faith. I was living according to my education level. I was living according to my family level. I was living according to my petrol consumption level. Brothers and sisters, this wallet is going to take you according to what you are thinking. If you are having if you, are, you have authority, if you use your authority plus faith, you are not going to be controlled in this world. You control this world. Because Christ says you are a governor. You are the dominator. You are Amen. dominion. Amen. You are the head, not the Amen. Dark. You are a light, not a darkness. Amen. Amen. I am a dominion. Amen. I'm a God's general. Amen. I'm untouchable. Hallelujah. Amen. That's my life. 
Do you know? Hello, hello church. Do you know my face is the one who give it to me? All of you, you came because of my faith. That's right, amen. Do you know that? Do you know that? Amen. If I don't have a faith, you are not going to be here tonight. Yes. Amen. Therefore, you faith, he can, he can overcome of your salary, overcome of your marriage, Amen. overcome of your finance, Amen. overcome of something what you depend on. Amen. You cannot live by what you are expecting. God is going to send the messengers. Amen. God is going to send away. Amen. God is going to... Jesus. Without any knowledge, things are going to be popped up. Amen. Thank you, Lord. But we are the one who's demanding the Lord. We are the one who's holding the hand of the Lord. We believe by having so many certificates, going to school, going to school until old age. I'm, I'm, I'm studying. I'm, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. I didn't go to school, but I'm living a better life than you. When you are going to study and bringing uh, documents again every year, I didn't go because God says, don't go. Check your life. The before life and now life. When you stick yourself with Christ and when you don't stick with the Christ, what kind of life you are living? Check. That is the evidence. Not any, anything yes, else. Yes, yes. Do not go to check somebody else. Check yourself what life, what kind of life yes. you was living yesterday. Amen. Then when your life is changed, you have to more stick. Amen. <laughs> Put Jesus. your leg more. Amen. Bring this one, the one who's at the back one. Mm. Say, the one, you know, your own leg can stagnate you. Yes. You understand it can stagnate you. Amen. But more, in most cases, we are just complaining demons, witchcraft. Hey, it's you. This witchcraft and demons also always, without any case, they are always a witchcraft, a demons. Eh. But what about us? Let us check ourselves. Maybe we are. Because witchcraft, they don't have power over us because we have authority over demons and witchcraft. That's Hallelujah. Right. Amen. That's it. It's given. Jesus yes. says authority is Given. given. Amen. On earth and on heaven. Earth. Amen. Therefore, he represents us. Amen. When he was going, he represents me. Hallelujah. Amen. Who else? I am represented for Christ. Can I see who else? Who then why don't you take authority? I think the greatest problem is us. Not the witchcraft. Not the demons. Be Do you know why I say this? In, in, in 15 ministry time, whenever I cast out, when I cast the demons, they never say, I don't want to go. Amen. They go every year. But whenever I try to rebook the disciples or spiritual people, I don't see them again. They already go. It means we are greater, than, bigger, than, bigger problem than the demons. If demons, they honor a man of God, why the humans? Why the disciples? Why the Christians? It means we are not denying yet ourselves. That's why Jesus says, if you do deny yourself, this is the denying. Denying is not anything else. Denying is humbling yourself, submitting yourself, giving yourself. Living according to the will of God, the word of God. You know, some of us we are counting our age. Hey, this, this is a small boy. How could he is going to tell me this? This I'm older than him. It's not old. It's not age is going to work in his spiritual kingdom. That's right. Amen. You can be mama or papa. Doesn't matter for me. When I'm casting out the demons from you, I'm not going to say, you demon of Papa, come out. I can't say. <laughs> I say, come out! <laughs> Finish. It's not the age. 
<laughs> it's not a matter. We want to be a big people. This is the spirit of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Mm. Wherever Jesus is, they are there. They speak that uh, um, Jesus. Yeah. Um, according to the Moses, look at that. They don't know he is the creator of the Moses. They want to put Moses high. Jesus is small. They only see his age and what he looks like. And there's Abraham's children. Amen. They want to dress like Abraham, but their life is miserable. Hello. <laughs> If you see at the moment in the television, most of them they want to dress up like Father Abraham. Hey, sh 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 sh. They look, they white too. When they are walking, they walk like angel. But when you see their life. today just this is my message Amen. i just want to say <laughs> this Amen. deny himself take up his your cross what does it mean taking up your cross means christ he took up his cross and he go to the cross and he crucified for who for my sin Amen. then crucify your sin today Amen. And take up your cross also. Ask Christ take up his cross because you and I we are a messengers. Amen. When the things is critical what you love, love. Yesterday so many of us we are together, okay? We wash today. What is the difference? There's a difference. What difference? Disciples are different than the other disciples. Ministers are different than the other. Some ministers they believe if I go to the church, no problem. God is my security. But the others, no. This time must pass. Is that? This is the difference. This is the difference. Trusting the Lord in a good time and trusting the Lord in a bad time also. Amen. It must be. And so many of us also what the television talking about what the economy talking about what the finance is talking about we start we start putting we are influenced by what the world is talking about we don't talk about what Jesus is talking about we don't talk about what the holy spirit saying talking about amen we are influenced and instead of influencing the world we are totally influenced We are influenced. The children are completely influenced. People are counting the ratio. How many, how many? Imagine that. So many people are so panicked at the moment. The South African COVID-19 is around 400,000. People are so panicked. They don't trust. When they go to the toilet, they don't trust. When they sit down in the house, they don't trust. Because the ratio is. But God knows that one. That 400,000 is nothing for the Lord. Amen. It's all about our sin. If we respect and honor God, God he can remove within a one minute. Hallelujah. Amen. Nothing. Nothing. He is able to do that. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In this regard, the the point the Jesus point Jesus points out clearly the importance of our souls not anything else not the importance of house not the importance of life or children whatever whatever jesus doesn't speak about any important things of this world he is speaking about the importance of our soul amen The decision is in our heart to save our soul or to live every life in this world and to go to hell tomorrow. Jesus is talking about he point out clearly the importance of our souls. That's why he says the son of man will be ashamed of him when he comes in in his father's glory with the holy angels. It means the second coming of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
Yes, long after the wealthy of this world has declared. The wealthy of not healthy. This world doesn't have a healthy. But this world have a wealthy. Which means the wealthy which is given for Adam and Eve, devil, he took over by sinful nature of Adam and Eve. Therefore, the wealthy, long after the wealthy of this world has declared already, it means the owner of the wealthy is devil. What is the, what is the, I was telling for mommy yesterday night for something. Our God silently he do, but the devil always speak voicely. Hello. Amen. Go to Songoma. You can get it. They will bring you the television. They can show you what, what the people are doing. Yes, that is a spirit. It's okay. Demons, they can do that. When you go today, I will do this. I will kill him. I will do that. I will destroy him. I will... You can hear the voice. That's why so many people, they are going to the devil. They want to get a wealthy. Huh? Because somebody is speaking, okay? But his soul is in the hand of my God. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. That's it. But oh God, not speaking like the way how the witchcraft speak, the way how Songoma speak, the way how spiritual people speak. God cannot say anything else, but you things are sorted out. Amen. The, the solution is already arrived. Amen. That, Thank you, Jesus. God doesn't speak to you. That, that God is still speaking, brother. Amen. When your prayer is answered, God is speaking. Yes, amen. It's true. But we only wanted God to speak, uh, to say, Mama Alex. <laughs> Only Avera or Pinky is the one who says Mama Alex. When God he came, he says, Alex. For him, she is a child. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. We still wanted the people that we have called us. Prophet Avera. God, the Holy Spirit never said to me, Prophet Avera. Say Avera. Because we are the children. Amen. Hallelujah. We are Amen. His soul. Hallelujah. Amen. Our soul is created in his hand. Hallelujah. Amen. We must know this. Long after the world of this world has declared, the soul will continue to exist. Hello? Amen. The world is declared, but that world cannot continue until the end. Or you cannot take the world to the heaven. When you are dying, you cannot carry on your wealthy. You bank account everything. It is declared, but only until you live. When? Until you soul where to go. To go to hell or to go to heaven. You are going to leave it there, you go. Amen. Are you listening? Yes. Therefore, the soul will exist for two matters. One, it will exist to Go to heaven, the honor of the soul, or it exists for, for the day of judgment. But you, wealthy, cannot exist for judgment or for anything else. Therefore, we must know this. If our wealthy cannot exist on the day of judgment or on the day, wherever to go, when you are dying and whatever, it means in the other one, meaningless. Therefore, we have to decide today to put Christ first, not anything else. Amen. Not our education, not our medical, not our, our house rent, not our cars or anything else. Jesus must be first if we are the children of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That's it. If you say amen or not, doesn't matter. But I'm preaching. One day you'll remember me. Have you remembered that the poor and, huh? The rich in heaven, the rich says, please, son of David, father Abraham, let me please send someone for my brother. He says, for you brothers, there's a preachers. I think it's me, one of them is a me. He said, there is a preacher's day. Now the time is up. Going out from here, it's not possible. Just wait until the judgment day. Therefore, our soul we don't know how it's going to the Father or to the judgment. Therefore, today is a day we have to live according to Abera is not God. 
Do not try to manipulate a bear. Do not try to, you know, looks like you are nice, you are good, but you are doing wrong things at the back. The judgment day, a bear is not going to stand in front of you to help you. You have to help yourself today. Living for the Lord, not living for somebody else. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's it. That's it. Do not, do not do that because it cannot help you. It cannot. It is the greater of all losses and can never be removed. It's a great loss. Losing the soil is, is the greatest loss. Losing the stuff of this world it helps you is once when you lost, the other time you gain. Yes. But losing the soul is the greatest loss. Are you, are you with me? Amen. Amen. Can I see those who are with me? Can I see the hand? Uh, I can, oh, all of you. But you don't look like. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you sure? Yes. I know it's dangerous range. I know. But it's for you, not for me. It helps you. Otherwise, I'm going to bring you, uh, is, is, uh, you know, this honey, honey preaching. I'm going to bring you the prophecy, honey, honey prophecy, hot, hot prophecy. You know, you know. These two hours are going to be. Then you go out. Nothing will happen. Hmm? Even if, if I profess I get it, if the Lord is not with you, what's the meaning? But if I tell you tonight about the soul, it is the best. Amen. Because maybe you know there is a soul, you, but maybe you don't know what is the function of that soul inside of you. That's what I'm telling you tonight. Amen. But that doesn't mean I don't know. I don't have a spirit of prophecy. I don't have a spirit of healing. I don't have a spirit of preaching. I do have. You know you are a witness. But I don't want to do it that one, only concentrating on those particular things. We have to know what is the importance of the soul. Amen. And once when we know, we don't struggle. We don't. Now, there's a there's a there's a there's a plug here. A switching off, you know, off. When you off, the light is going. When you on, the light comes. But if we took it out and we release it, that one, the wire. If I say, go and switch on and off, I know uh, from all of you, uh, maybe two or one of you can come and try to connect. But maybe not all of you. Because the wire, it can touch you. Hello? We are living by somebody's life. Who hold the dead? Who holds that wire? Amen. But we don't want to respect that one. We don't want to honor that one. Hey, but the soul is very valuable because Jesus reveals died for anything but for our soul. Jesus revealed the death. He died and revealed. He didn't speak and reveal. He didn't preach and reveal. He didn't say he cast out the death and reveal like me. I can cast out the spirit of death, but I, I never died for any one of you. But Jesus, he came and he revealed about the death, the secret of the death. He died himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He rise up. He says, this is this. This is this. And he predict two things. When he was in life, the way what we are doing, he did it. Lazarus, yes come out from the death. Something like Lazarus was in the bedroom. Amen. He called Lazarus. It means try to show up, you know. He says, this is nothing for me. Hallelujah. Amen. Those Pharisees and Sadducees, they're always telling him, they are astonishing. They want to astonish him. They want to kill him. They want to do. He was telling them, hey guys, this is nothing for me. Hmm. When he was physically alive, he called Lazarus and said, Lazarus from the grave. Amen. Like Lazarus is in the bedroom. He said, come out. The Lazarus is start jumping, worshiping Lord. Hey, you, if you don't come, I was sleeping. I was resting. Yeah? 
Jesus, I surrender for you. Amen. I came to Amen. He heard the voice of Amen. Jesus. He came out. And all the Jews, they says, what kind of man is this? Who command even the death? Mm. But they didn't take a they didn't take a note. They take it like easy things. They take it like a religion. They take it like a ceremony, like a service like this one. They didn't take it like a life. That's why I teach you tonight. Soul does have life. Feeling, thought, and action. Action. I'm teaching you, I'm not just a theatrist telling you tonight to just to leave here and decide and to drop this side. I'm telling you because time is arrived. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you time is arrived. Amen. Maybe some of us we will wait that Lord Jesus some of us we are going. That's why Jesus is teaching us today this kind of teaching. Amen. Maybe among us some of us we are saying this world is goodbye. And you must know before you say goodbye. You must understand what is the death. Jesus, he predict physically and he died also. He showed this cannot, this cannot hold of him. Amen. He died, he go to his father. Then he represent us. You are the rep representative. Unfortunately, there are some people who will understand the value of their souls. Only when it is too late. When, when it is too late. They understand about their soul when it becomes too late. Do not understand about your soul when it is become too late. That's why the Holy Spirit give me this teaching to teach for tonight. We have to understand. We have to understand. Quickly, Matthew chapter 10, verse 33. We are, I'm not going to preach, but to understand what the Bible says about. Quickly, my dear. But whoever disowns me before others, mm -hmm. I will disown before my Father in heaven. Okay. Okay, let me explain that one. Whoever disowns me means, in, in, it means I am representative. If you disown Christ in front of me, Christ also will disown you. This is the meaning, what you want to say. Amen. There's a lot of meaning. This is it's a lot of meaning. When you, wherever you are working, if you hide Christ, like you are not born again or you are not Christian, you do funny things. Uh, when you are, they are drinking, if you drink. When they are talking, you are talking. When they are lying, if you are lying. Wh whatever there. It is, this is what Jesus said. Wherever you are disown me, I will disown you. Amen. You can secretly disown Christ, but he will publicly disown you tomorrow. Therefore, before too late, I am. As a messenger, I'm preaching today. I'm speaking today. Continue quickly. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. Uh -huh. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. Mm -hmm. So, a sword. Yes. The big knife. Amen. It means in the kingdom of Christ also there's a sword. We always pray for peace, peace, peace. Jesus says, I didn't come to bring the peace. Jesus. Wow. Therefore, do not say, where is the Christ? Where is my believing? I, I believe Christ. Why Christ doesn't bring the peace? No, he, he's saying, I didn't came to bring the peace. I came for his word also. A sword, maybe this knife, not only the big knife, maybe the sickness is a sword. Financial problem is a sword. This economic problem is a sword. Health problem is maybe a sword. This confusion, deception, so and so and so, it's become maybe a sword. Therefore, Jesus, what, what Jesus is saying. Continue. For I have come to turn a man against his father. Brother against his brother. Wife against her husband. Son against his father. 
daughter Agnes, her mother. Is it a peace? Wife and husband, they are fighting in the house. Do you think there is a peace? Like that. When your children, they don't want to honor you or respect you, it means there is no peace. In the same way, when the disciples, they don't honor the prophet or the leader, the religion leader, the same. That's what, what is going on in this house also, somehow, sometimes, from some of you. This is the war of God. If you read it, the whole chapter, chapter 10, it tells you at the end of time. This is talking about, about the end of time, what's going to be happening. Take a look. Take a look when you go back to home, Matthew 24. Matthew chapter 24. It gives you the whole clear of the end of time. The clear, clear, like a mirror. And if you have a time also, add included 2 Timothy chapter 3. It's very important. Very, very important. If you time also added Revelation chapter 17, 18, 19. And also, if you have a time, take also Daniel chapter 7, chapter 9, chapter 11. If you have time also, Ezekiel chapter 34, 35. 33 is also very important. This, it clearly shows you what the end time looks like. We are now. We are now already. And the Bible says, if you read it, Daniel, the Bible says, you will wish this, but you don't follow this. People are dying like a dog. Without anything, without any pain, you are the other, you go. But the matter is where you're going. That's the matter. But tomorrow, the Bible says, grasshoppers, they will come and eat your flesh. You scream to die but the soul cannot come out. You still stay there. That is the time now is coming. This pandemic is about to, you know, this pandemic even not finished. The other black death pandemic is on the road, on the way. Black death. Pandemic is coming. Write down. Black death pandemic is coming, 2021. <laughs> Therefore, which one, which one you are going to face and which one you are going to? We are so hard now for, for, for the level three, level two, level one. Meaningless. That is meaningless. Whatever level, put it there. If level is finished, but Corona is still there, what are you going to do? Meaningless. People of God, the only solution is Christ at the moment for this world. Amen. We have to humble ourselves. We must come back to him and we have to hear, we have to do according to the will of the Lord. What God wants from us, simple. Very, it's not that much critical. It's the only thing we have to deny and follow him. Finish. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is not a happy voice. Amen. <laughs> I say this is not exactly, it's not a happy voice. Amen. Yeah. Take it or leave it. As a messenger, I'm saying, I am like you also. I'm not different. I'm not coming from heaven to preach you tonight and to go back heaven. I am living with you. I'm one of the part of you. It is my decision also tonight. When I'm preaching for you, it doesn't mean I am an excellent, perfect, better, 100% person than you. No, 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 we are equal. I am listening also message for myself. Please, maybe you are going to save the Lord tomorrow. We don't know. But I pray. I want to be saved. Amen. We don't know. The last hour, the last minute, is that is the decision. The last minute. We don't know how we are going to die. Therefore, today is the day to follow him, to deny ourselves. You can have a millions and millions in your bank account. You can have a, anything, whatever you have. But that is meaningless. 
Maybe a person who doesn't have anything, he go to saved and you are still go to judgment. That is not the matter. That's why God sent prophet Abera from Ethiopia for you to, to tell you. Amen. Yeah, that's it. I know, I know, I know. Maybe some other people, they are not going to tell you the preaching what I preached tonight. They don't. They don't. Maybe, I didn't say 100%. I'm saying maybe they don't preach you. No, take it easy. Tell for you never. Take it easy. Just God is a good God. He's a merciful God. He's a God of love, full of God. Amen. You know what? In the kingdom of God, there's a mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. The only thing that you try, do not panic yourself. You know, if you are in the same highway, the person you can drive 180 per hour. If you drive 20 per hour, but if you are in the same road, no problem. Amen. Hello, don't say, <sighs> no, it's not. Just be on, on the, don't miss it, that, that highway. Amen. Don't miss it. Look, there's a highway here to go to Pretoria. Don't take this Tabazin B highway. Go on this one, this one, the one with. And some of us, maybe we are scared of toll gate. We want to go the road of no toll gate there. But you forgot how much you are spending for petrol also after. Some of us, we are running away from the toll gate, but we are putting more petrol for extra road. Like that. Some of us, instead of paying what God said to us, we don't want to pay here, but we are paying at the backside a lot of Good. Are you listening? Maybe God, he went from you tie 200 rand, but you are paying 600 rand at the backside. That's it. That's true. We only, concern, we only believe in our calculation. We don't believe the calculation of the law. But the righteous always live by faith. Amen. Not by calculation. Amen.